punish battalions. Supposedly if we got a second one and got the big case for it, we could have just a monstrous... What would be the equivalent of like a queen-size bed? As a giant beanbag. Would be fun. But then we wouldn't have the proper support to look at a television. Let's see, so we got Bernadetta. And Lorenz is on who? Hilda. Okay. This is probably fine. Point. So what fight is this? Uh, just random no-name battle. Uh. Who, me? I will get the victory. Looks like there's a heck of a lot of people running in I'll here. Give it my all. Uh, let's see, items. Oh, well, that's interesting. A desert environment means negative 20% movement speed and negative 2, is that Stay just focused. defense? Yeah. Uh, let's see, I should probably store some of this junk. Should probably store, sell, and like re equip some things in a little go. while. Let us away. Okay. I'm not sure if the enemies are gonna come charging for me, but I'm gonna try and That's make cue. the old durable cube. I got this. <laughs> so nice of you. Just too shy from a perfect cube. Or no, it would still be oh. rectangle, wouldn't it? I have to just count how many rows there are. Oh, unless it's, is it three by three? No, it would be four by three, so it wouldn't be. Leave it to me. Or no, you do, you would have four by four, now that I'm looking at it. If you had two more. Yeah. Unfortunately, the map was skewing everything, so I thought that there was one less row of people. Of I won. But now I see them. They're at the very front. Hey. But yeah, I'm pretty much going to just do battles for a little while, because it's probably the best e EXP I've got. I want to get a number of my characters up to level 30. 30? Uh, How long will that take? Uh, Not long, actually. Surprisingly. My stupid robe. Because I am enthusiastic to see what this ritual will entail. Yeah. No, that's that's fair. Let's see. Do do nose. Do nose. Is she wielding one of the artifact weapons? Nah. Okay. I'm I don't just, think we found something for her. I think myself. she has a... It just was golden and... Looked like it was special, but I couldn't tell. Uh, I'll manage. Let's see. I think she just has the healing, uh... She just has the healing lance. Or not healing lance, healing staff. Mm-hmm. Still got room to grow. Good form. Items. Uh, let's see. Why does she have a training sword? Well. Convoy out training sword. Maybe she needed that sword after all. Uh, let's see. I store this. We're just out of iron lances. We are. I guess we'll just take that one. Did you ever have any favorite animals growing up? Interesting question. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. My god, they're all cavalry. This is <laughs> hilarious. Okay, who has warp? You do. Assist warp. Hilda! Go say hi. Yes. Hey. My efforts are paying off. That's pretty good. I mean, was there an animal that you ever liked to watch in particular at the zoo, or uh, or ones that you always gravitated towards in? I'm trying games to think. And such? So, penguins. 
You liked penguins? Yeah, I like penguins a lot. I'm still far from my well, I remember nest. you said you liked Piplup, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Piplup and Empoleon are by far some of my favorites. Uh, I suppose see. someone's favorite Pokemon could, in fact, be informed by what their favorite animals are, or vice versa. So what did you like about penguins? Uh, penguins? They were just super cute. And I'm going to be honest, uh, Space Station Silicon Valley had a very, very heavy penguins? influence on what I liked. Okay. Uh, so for frame of reference, Space Station Silicon Valley is, uh, it's an old N64 game. Woohoo. Where you would, uh, you were a computer chip taking over animatronic, like, life, well, I'd say lifelike, but not really lifelike. Um, but you were taking over animatronic, uh, robots on a space station. Okay. Did uh, one of them take the form of a it. penguin? Yeah, so there were, there were penguin bots. There were, uh, there was a lot. It was kind of dumb, but also kind of amazing. But the, the penguins, uh, the basic penguin enemies uh, that you could become had the ability to uh, kind of float fall Sorry. and uh, throw snowballs. And I remember thinking it was like the most adorable thing. And then if you became the king penguin, I think you could rocket fly <laughs> and also like trumpet. Also, you could butt slam things. Um, but by trumpeting, you would you would marshal your penguin forces. I'm still oh. It was dumb. Someday I might have you play that with me. Uh, technically, I have the whole thing recorded, like a hundred percent series for, with my brother. But like, good lord, this is in the olden days. Oh, so your audio is probably terrible back then. The audio wasn't great, and uh, the file formats aren't even what I'm used to working with. Uh, there are so many games that we stopped too soon. Like, so for instance. Until Dawn, we played through that over the course of, what, two days? And we have that series completed in its entirely, but you only put, what, what two episodes and then stopped? Which game? Until Dawn. Oh, yeah. Well, and I then, mean, there's a lot of reasons why I don't want to put it up now. <laughs> Was it bad microphone, gory? Yeah, also that ending just pissed me off so much. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, let's see. I mean, Bound by Flame, we filmed the entirety of that game, and you only put up three episodes of it? Mm-hmm. It'd be interesting. It, it, if you guys don't know what Bound by Flame is, it's kind it's a studio that wanted to make Bioware-esque games. Yeah. Uh, Essentially, Spiders, it, I think? They're coming up with a new game in September. Really? Yep. And what's it called? Heck if I know. Well, let's see. But, so it definitely captured some of the feel of what a Bioware game is noted for. It it had characters, it had a setting, it had you know, your main crew that you got to know and... It felt like if you took Dragon Age, turned it into a kind of adequate action RPG. It wasn't bad, I found myself enjoying it. But it was one of those where it's just like, it did miserably on YouTube. Then again, that was also the start of your channel. Yeah, that was pretty early on. Had to be but like, I, I hate having to be a bit mercenary about like what series survive and which ones die on my channel, but every once in a while, like, yeah. Yeah, because I stopped playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance and Sinking I mean, that City one was just and... because neither of us were that enthused about it. Mm-hmm. This next one, don't be desert. Bad jumping. <laughs> I turned the AC up and I'm still sweating in here. It's been a hot few days, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm not paying attention. Thank you, Nordic Paladin, for the sub. And welcome to Late Night Fire Emblem. 
Okay. Oh, it's this mission. Uh, let's see, units. Well, Lorenz is up to level 20. Past level 20. So we need somebody new to stick on Hilda. Somebody that is not level 20. Yeah, let's grab Marianne. Let's see, map. Where? Okay, Hilda's actually in the right spot this time around. It's a... It's X. Okay, so this is for the most part neutral terrain. Yep. Which means it's sort of faster. The main issue on this one is just, uh... It gets a bit maze-like. Mm -hmm. Not that that's that big of a deal. I've done this, uh... I've done this this one a couple of times. Well, quite a lot of times when I was grinding. I'll give it my all. <laughs> I think it's funny how she's cheering herself on. Boy. That danger Let's zone. Get to it. Is actually upsetting. Let's see. But yeah, so the reason why I want to get a bunch of characters up to level 30, which isn't even going to take that much time, actually. Uh, if I do that, he dies. If I After do that, this he's battle, fine. are we going to go to the next week? Yep. And then okay. it'll be story stuff, and then we go to bed. Yeah, story stuff. Um, but uh, level 30 is when they can take their master exams. Oh. Let's see. Here we go. Which I figured uh, prepping a number of characters Stay to focused. leave it to me. What's the maximum level they can get to in a game? Fifty? Uh, potentially higher than that. Ooh. Uh, according to King Let of Sevens, they got to they got to that point and they were still going, like they were still leveling. Oh wow. So, my my assumption is yeah, it's higher than that. No hesitation. Each battle a chance to grow. That collar was such a bad choice. It is. Notice such how his victory pose has Witness the collar in front of his face. Yeah. Hard work created this. Because without the collar, the outfit would have been quite functional. <laughs> I don't understand it. One more success. Oh, dang, that's a lot of enemies. Oh well. Plenty more where that came from. My entire lineup is just nothing but crit cannons for some reason. <laughs> My heart she didn't. Is she didn't victory. crit him there. I'm impressed. I'm impressed that they can actually hit Should the main character, but then again, my level advantage has started to go away. It's over. You fought well. I guess hard work does pay off. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep with Bernadetta. <laughs> Should I have held back? Has she helped at all? Or not really. Uh so I mean obviously I'm not gonna like give her the boot or get her killed or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But uh I was hoping with Bernadetta that she'd actually gain like some stats here that would make her decent. But her stats are bad. I have so far left to go. Maybe she, maybe she's not that bad. Maybe I just need to switch her class around or some other things. But it just oh, it's not. It doesn't feel good. How's she doing? This want to take a low key nap. You're welcome to. I'm almost done with this battle. Yeah, it looks like you've cornered the troops and have them on the run. Well, that's pretty. There are waterfalls in the distance. Yeah, this is one of my favorite tile sets. Looks like a bazaar. Yeah, I want to say this is probably like an Alliance City tile set. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. It looks a little bit more, I don't know, Alliance-y. 
Well, I think they were supposed to border desert and such, and then... I don't know what the Empire has, but... Argus is supposed to be sort of the north. It's cold and probably tundra and more temperate climate climates to the south. What if I healed somebody? Oh, did I actually heal Raphael? I'm oh, impressed. Yeah. He is. I thought back. he was out of range. Is this power really mine? Yes, Marianne isn't terrible. Main thing is I've just got four significantly stronger casters that I'd rather use. Mm-hmm. We, I don't know why anybody would attack Hilda over, say, Petra. Or even Raphael. Oh, okay. It's finally complete. Woo! Yep. I mean, that was a fairly swift battle. Yep. I tried to go fast with the non plot related ones. You didn't have to worry about hostages or any prerequisite nope. defenses. And the maps tend to be a bit smaller. Yeah, the reason why these load screens are so long is because it's loading the the a decent chunk of the monastery. Right. Odd choice. Does it make sense? Lysitia's birthday. Oh. oh no, I forgot about you. Do nothing. No. It's a tea party. Did you call me? Oh. This is my favorite tea. Do you, um, have sugar? Lots, please. <laughs> I am grateful. My friends and I would always have tea parties. We'd discuss video games and delicious. novels and science fiction and fantasy comics that we were reading at the time. And novels. <laughs> I suppose let's just say science fiction, fantasy, media, any sort, because we were all involved with reading manga. Uh, my A lot of my friends had Final Fantasy games, but I had Nintendo systems, so for me it was Legend of Zelda. Star Wars titles. We all had our share of playing Star Wars games. Wait, what were the answers that you gave? Uh... Let's see. I gave food in the dining hall, people, people you look up to, and sorry, I was chatting monastery over rules. It. Maybe I don't know. I forgot. Okay, and ah, that tea was delicious. Invite me again sometime. See ya. You just got teed. All right, the day of the ritual. Ooh. I don't know why the 22nd was the last day for a lot of those. It seemed kind of arbitrary to me. Well, just because it's the week before? Yeah, I guess. Whoa, those are some cool robes. Is that his special outfit? Or just something unique to him? Or... Sorry. That's... Is there any doubt? Oh yeah, we haven't had any male mages. Uh, get to the advanced level. Oh, I see. That's what it is then. Because yeah, it's the same class that Lysithia currently is, for example. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bernadetta might be able to become a sniper. Oh, we also probably have a support conversation or two to get through. Yeah. Let's see. I like it how 
there's a number of students with a higher reason stat than freaking Hanneman. <laughs> Good luck, Hannah man. There's just no question that he would pass. I mean, there is a lot of questions. He's actually not a terrible I didn't mage. see any stats, though, for 0 to 100%. It was like 50. Really? Was yeah. That, where was that? Hmm. I, I skipped over it pretty quick. I see. But yeah, Hanneman's not actually a half bad uh, caster. My main thing is just Lysithia... Uh, Dorothea, Mercedes, and Flane are just so much stronger. Mm hmm That it's hard for me to get more casters. I mean, it must also to be a combination of crests and the weapons they're able to wield and... It's just a failure. Yeah, he's a B Sorry. plus and he's a B plus in swords, and that's not enough. How far are you going back? Uh, right before I took that test. I see. Uh, whenever I'm doing certifications that aren't 100, percent I save right beforehand. Not that it's actually that big of a deal. I have plenty of intermediate or advanced seals, but you know. Lysithia actually doesn't want to be a warlock ever. All the warlock's abilities, including master ability, give boosts to black magic. Lysithia only learns dark magic. Yeah. Huh. Well, right, because there's a difference between dark and black magic. I mean, the alternative is raising her faith and getting her to be a bishop. Because really, I'd like to get her to be... Don't you need to equip someone with the... The oh, nice is a did we did we have that Dark Knight seal somewhere? Oh no, we <laughs> we used it on the main character. Oh right, okay. Got to catch them all. But yeah, we want her to be a a Dark Knight actually. But we got to get her writing stat up to a, which sucks a lot. See. Maybe when we defeat the Dark Knight for the second time, we'll get another one. I don't know if we will. Really? Yeah. The conflict in the Holy Tomb. Oh. Oh, I wanted to read the lore for it. Oh. It was just your house ventures into the Holy Tomb. Oh. With But there was a whole other section to it. Probably just something about performing the ritual with Lady Rhea. Conflict in the Holy Tomb. White clouds. You're going to receive the goddess's revelation at the Holy Tomb? That's news to me. I did not see that coming. Lady Rhea's going too, right? I hear it will be well guarded, but is that really okay? If Solon's allies are still around, it's certainly true that we don't know when or where they may appear. I don't know what type of place this holy tomb is, but we should be cautious. If something happens, we'll have to take matters into our own hands. What do you think, Professor? Is it really okay for Lady Rhea to attend? Uh, I mean, I'm worried for other reasons. Mm -hmm. Like what her intention is. I am worried. It seems to be tightly sealed. I'll give you that. We should be fine as long as nothing goes terribly wrong. Yep, just as long as nothing goes wrong. Well, the truth is, we won't know what's going to happen until it happens. All we can do is stay on our guard and play it by ear. That's quite enough babbling, Claude. There is nobody more unfit for a holy ceremony than you. Um, divine punishment won't strike us for setting foot in the holy tomb, right? Good grief. Why are you always so negative? Hmm? Flame? Is something on your mind? Who? Me? No. It is nothing. May we all see this through to the end. It still doesn't make mm. sense to me. A goddess was living inside Teach, right? 
But now there's a ceremony to receive a revelation or whatever. How could that be necessary anymore? There must be another objective. <sighs> it's pointless to speculate about it now. We'll know the answer soon enough. There isn't any danger for us students, but be careful, Teach. I noticed that Flane had her head downcast. This is... Mm -hmm. And Sedeth had his reservations, too. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. That mechanism for descending underground back there, what powers it? When I tried to come by myself, it wouldn't even budge. This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? I do. Right? So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. If you said you do not, would she have been disappointed? And, or forced you to- Well? Hmm? It was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Sorry to disturb you when you're distressed, Archbishop, but it seems some uninvited guests have arrived. <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> the Imperial Army? What are they doing here? So, they knew we were heading to the Holy Tomb and followed us here. Hey, who is that standing next to the angry guy? Could that be... The Flame Emperor. I see. So you've been allied with the Empire from the beginning. What are they doing here? What do they hope to gain? There's only one goal for grave robbers like these. Right, Flame Emperor? You're here to steal the treasure that rests within the Holy Tomb. For a fool, you catch on quickly. Those crest stones will be ours. That infernal power, which is masquerading as a medicine but is truly a poison, will plague this world no longer. Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor, destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator! Isn't that interesting? They were calling Why, it a thank taint. Thank you so much. The relics. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How they were causing harm, harm to the world and how they would destroy Thanks them so to much. correct it. I have gratitude. I'm surprised no one stepped forward to question the nature of the relics. We already s witnessed it turn Sylvain's brother into a monster. Mm -hmm. And the students. The ones that we fought before we fought... What was it? Fronia? Mm -hmm. Most of my characters are getting up to... Let's see, is he perfect? Petra and Ferdinand. Oh, let's see, map. Well, Hilda should always be in front. Now, what is the boss here? Oh, it is actually the Flame Emperor. Who's the guy? So it was Metody. Metody. And yeah, it's the Adrestian Empire. Yeah, he's an assassin. So you believe this would be the branching point where uh, if someone's playing the Adrastians, the, uh, they would just I, go along with it? I don't know where the branching point is for, um, ow, layout is dumb. Um, Cause yeah, the, the people who are 
from Fargus and then the Alliance, they wouldn't let the Adrusty Empire chests? acquire the contents of the tomb. Nope, I don't see any. Yeah, so this is the branching point. Okay. But yeah, I wonder... Wait. Is this a chest? No, that's not. Holy tomb train that cannot be crossed. Got it. Uh, let's see. I Like, I'm almost wondering if the uh, Flame Emperor is straight up, like... <laughs> Edelgard. I will not allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the holy tomb. I will see after this mission. The crest stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. The holy tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the crest stones as you can. Okay, protect, protect the, the crest, crest stones. stones. If they're stolen, you can get them back by defeating the foes that have them. You can earn rewards based on the number of crest stones you protected. Stay focused. How many caskets are there? Are they on all of those pedestals? Yeah. We're gonna want to beeline. The victory. Right. She's got a viable sword. I'll give it my all. Let's see. Is that enough to kill a guy? Yeah. Good job, Ash. I like Ash as a character. I'm glad his stat growth hasn't been too garbage. Here we go. I was worried that he was going to end up weak. Because he's by far my my like go one of my go-to characters purely because of that thief skill. Not that it's mattered too much here, but still. Ah, oh, crit! <laughs> You're making me work. You hurt. <laughs> work, work. Put in some work. I thought that she would be unsufferable when we initially me. met her, but I actually I mean, really she think she's is, funny. But she's like delightfully so. Mm-hmm. You don't have time for this. You underestimated me. Were you speeding it up? Yeah. That's ah. my cue. The Thoron. Wow. Ah, another crit. Bango was his nameo. Not quite what I was after. Not bad. Let us away. Let's get to it. I call that a win. Can't get comfortable. Uh, I'm all sweaty. <laughs> ah. Take away the crest stones, all of them. That is enough. Do you even know what those stones are? Ah, uh, she didn't get hit. Well, but only mildly. Faster. They're fast. Mm-hmm. When you defeat him, you'll reclaim the crest stone. Yep, we'll get the crest stone. Yeah, those guys have crests. See the guy right there? Yeah, I see him. I'm just I need to get as far down the down the room as possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, I won. Okay.
Because I don't exactly know where these guys escape to from, whatever. Probably the end where all the other units are. But this guy might get away, which bothers me. had the main character run up the other side. I figured Hilda would need help, but that, that far thief is an issue. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Fire? No. Ghost? Got uh, alone. Ah, oh, one HP. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh. Whoa. Lethality is a move. It doesn't trigger often, but it's just an insta-gib. So that's the exit point? Yep. I'm not too worried except for that one. I don't want to have to go back just to kill the guy. But yeah, we can always time travel back and just have X run up the right side instead. Because he can get around the map real quick. Oh, wait, no. He's being greedy. Okay. He's trying to grab a second one. Yep, he's going for a second. Which means he's going down. You lost to me? Don't expect... Okay, get out of here, Creststone. Enough to kill that guy. Yep. That silver shield, shield is doing a fair bit of work on Petra. I was worried that she was going to be flimsy, but this is false. Okay, Ash is there. Too far away, though. Dead Eye? No, oh, a little bit. Dead Eye! Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but like. They must have found some crest stones to have those creatures on the field. Maybe from lesser nobles or out in the world? Yeah. Let's just keep Nosferatuing these guys. Ow, that's some damage. I, I don't have time for failure. I might squander some of my stat items on Lysithia at some point, just so she has a little bit more HP. Okay. Do we go for those archers? Or do we go bonk this guy? A gambit? Hmm. I haven't used one of those in a while. I don't usually use them. Uh, just because they don't do as much damage as my as my actual characters, just smashing through things. That'll work. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? Number of people died on those spots. Yeah. Like you're fine though. Yeah, the monsters. The monsters are probably kind of chunky. Ooh. Oh, some second HP bar. Good stat distribution. Let's see. Oh, fine. Here's a weapon for once. Probably stop using axes so much. Predictable. Oh. I guess once I master my class, I'll stop using axes. Because this class is not built for axes. Same breath. That might hurt. 
That hurt her a little. Hmm? Now the question is... look like mummies. Oh. I was hoping that I'd, uh... I'd, like, direct its attention towards Leone, but it didn't, um... Didn't take the bait. Yeah, I was hoping it would. Just... Fortify? Maybe here. Assist fortify? What, what are you going to be fortifying? I was trying to heal her. But it doesn't look like that's in the cards. Ah, critical! Okay. Yeah, her crit rating's pretty good. Training bow. Well, it'll kill it. Nice dodge, and he got a crit. Yep. Doing my part. Yeah, I like I like Don't characters with relatively sick. high crit ratings. Let's be careful. Okay. Assist, physic. Appreciated. Right, and she'll heal back some of her health. Yeah, because she's she's got the self heal ability, which is so mm -hmm. nice. Oh, there's a quite Rosferatu. a number of enemies there. Nosferatu. You <laughs> underestimate. Oh, I haven't seen Nosferatu. I I've used it quite a fair bit actually. No, I, I mean the film. Oh. Yeah, it's probably. I don't know. I think it was a silent film. All From way way back. Oh, let's see. Do we even have? Oh. I guess I might as well grab this item over here. Hello. And most of these guys are going down instantly. I should probably check what level they are. How over leveled am I for this fight? Mm -hmm. Eh, 21. The answer is I'm pretty over leveled, but it's not as bad as it could have been. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're expecting all of your units to be what? Five to ten levels higher, is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, I'm perpetually a little bit afraid of, like, truly overgrinding to the point where it's just trivial. I mean, the game has allowed me to do so. I was originally just trying to overgrind with, uh, with my main character. Because... I figured... Ultimately, you're gonna have them in every battle. Well, yeah, kind of. And that way, like... It, that way, it's kind of reliable of like, yeah, okay, this looks like it's going to be a hard mission. My other characters are getting skunked here. Let's just send the wrecking ball at them. Uh, and it's like mostly worked out that way. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, at this just point, doing all of the paralogs more or less was enough to... Uh, I did enjoy how the paralogs helped reinforce all of the side stories between the characters. Yeah. Yeah, no, the 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 paralogues, the side quests really made quite a difference as far as like uh immersion goes. At least for me. I won't go down so easily. Let's see assist. Whoop. Get up there. Yeah. See, we'll heal the, the wall, kill the flame emperor. I'm probably gonna have X do it. <laughs> but will he really die? Because you've had a couple instances where the villains teleport once or twice before they finally yeah. I, I think are at, slain. at best we're just gonna knock off a mask. Mm hmm. Now, what if this guy was Yuritsa? Uh, could I would, be. I would expect him to be someone ancient, though. But maybe not. I'm just... Yuritsa had a white and black mask. It was different. It was a half mask. You fought well. I don't know. Because everyone thought that he was the Death Knight. I'm told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, 
How shall I cook you? Make them suffer. What's What's you got? You know, you know. Zero percent chance to hit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a nice flip. Uh, she is taking that. Ting Tang. Hilda's not very good at taking <laughs> hits from magic. That's okay, because she's got a hand axe plus that destroys mages. Oh, well then what about the shield? I thought the shield was supposed to help resist magic. Yeah, it just is, gives her a resistance bonus. Is that why she's been able to take less damage? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think it's only like a, a couple of points, but still. Easy. Nice. I'm sad. <laughs> we. Witness, Bridget yeah, she's not a bad sword maiden. Mm-hmm. Greatness awaits me. I don't think we have anything else that we can do. Except for killing the flame emperor. And yeah, I'm just yeah. looking at these characters and I, I like to uh Let's see, I like to use as many like support spells as possible. Just for extra EXP. So, for example, her using Rescue pulls him in and she gets just a little bit of EXP for it. Anyway, Training Axe. Yep. <laughs> oh, he actually has a decent chance of hitting me. That's impressive. But you hit harder. <laughs> Wait. No. I was just following orders. I just... Hey, he's up to level twenty. Oh, ow! Yep, just that one mage. Yeah, I will deal with the flame emperor shortly. Mm -hmm. First, we heal, and then we see twenty-five, level twenty-nine. Oops, probably shouldn't have used the hand axe, but whatever, I can repair what? it later. Oh. Yeah, there's all these, like, fallen items, but... Mm. Boglane! Eh, Boglane. Bulgan. What has he got? Just Bulgan a Steelax. I did not wish to make an enemy of. I want to say it's Edelgard. What? It probably isn't. Let the lesson begin. How would you explain the voice changer? I mean, magic mask. Some power dwells within. Now, I mean, it's definitely Imperial, though. Yep. So, the end has come. Is this some sick joke? The Flame Emperor is what? actually Edelgard? Freaking called it. What? <laughs> the tempo is the exact same. Of the, her voice, you mean? Yeah, yeah, the, the syncopation of how she spoke. Mm -hmm. Absolutely Edelgard. What, she just wanted to bring back the glory of the Empire and to or, throw off the yoke of the church? Yeah, kind of. Because the church pretty much stopped all the wars and prevented the Empire from retaining its sovereignty, right? Well. Why, thank you so much. You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of House Heresbelg would dare betray the Holy Church. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. 
She is a danger to all of Fodlin. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. I have achieved my objective. I will retreat. Farewell, Professor. If we meet again, it will be on the battlefield. Come, Hubert. To flee is futile, wicked girl. The Church of Seros will raise its entire army against you until you have been captured and punished. You have defiled the holy tomb, dishonored the goddess, and humiliated your brethren. That crime will never be erased. Even if you burn in the eternal flames and spill all of your blood into the goddess's soil. Come, Professor. Let us return and decide upon our next course of action. I'm not exactly on friendly terms with the princess, but I do have a few questions for her. Edelgard said that the crest stones represent power. That means she knows how to use them. She almost certainly knows other secrets of Fodlin as well. Once things calm down a bit, there's a lot more that Rhea needs to tell us. I just hope there's still time. I have this strange feeling that history is being written, that an age of anarchy is upon us. Let's hope I'm mistaken. Nope. Yeah, so that's the black. The leaders of the church out. have misused its creed to fulfill their true desire to rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodlin. Long ago, they divided the empire to create a kingdom, and then divided that kingdom to create an alliance. They did all of this to make the masses bicker amongst themselves. They caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority. They gathered gold and lived in extravagance. How? By preying on the devotion of those who wished for the goddess's salvation. Those corrupt hypocrites cannot lead Fodlin to true peace. Their foul belief system must be torn asunder so that true wisdom may finally prevail. And so, I have decided. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresfeld, the Empire hereby declares war on the Church of Seros. I cannot believe it. Let us recount the situation as it stands, Professor. After you returned from the Holy Tomb, the Adrestian Empire declared war upon the Church of Seros, as well as our allies. Declared war? Edelgard demanded her own father relinquish the throne, and then assumed the position of Emperor. She has deemed the Church of Seros to be an evil of this world, and is calling upon the people of Fodlin to help her tear it down. I must discuss our response to this declaration with the Archbishop, after the Knights return from their investigation. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. I heard what happened, Teach. The Princess, well, the Emperor now. She really did it, didn't she? The Lords and Dukes of both the Kingdom and the Alliance have been called out, and now have to choose between the Church and the Empire. The seed of conflict was always there, and now we find ourselves in the middle of a war that will tear Fodlin in two. The Empire is rash. But I never thought it would come to this. How could something like this happen? I hope everyone back home is safe. I'm sure it's mass confusion at home right now. My brother must be worried sick about me. Hmm. Only time will tell, or let's calm down. Probably only time will tell. You're absolutely right, Teach. I'm sure a lot of us are worried about our homes, but all we can do for now is prepare for battle and tread carefully. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't running into negative hard drive space or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm fine. Part 1. White Clouds. Lone Moon. To war.
Together, the people of Fodlan relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Well then, she dethroned her father and became the new emperor. Yep. So, I, I'm i really curious about the other routes with this game. Normally I'm like, meh, new game plus. But this is one of those, oh wow, this is short. We're starting only partway through the month? Yeah, it looks like it. Unforgivable! I cannot fathom that the Adrestian Empire would embark on such a violent course of action. The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. Is she wicked? She plotted with ill-meaning strangers to achieve her own ambitions and defiled the Holy Tomb. If that is not wicked, what is? Or perhaps her ambitions are even grander than we know. Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven nor forgotten. We must stop the Empire, and quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops are marching towards Garrig Mach. It is said that they will join forces with Edelgard's army and arrive within two weeks. Two weeks? That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses before then. We must send notice to all surrounding villages at once. We must order the residents of Garrig Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor, listen closely. If our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. Sacred duties? Well, why me? Okay. That's also back then with the whole is Edelgard wicked thing. Think of what she's done. Even if she didn't necessarily condone what Sodon the Solon was, and company did was, yeah. was doing kidnapping people well I don't them think she was their leader essence. I think she was well she chastised him yeah she said you know I didn't you never asked for like I never mm. wanted to take part in your grizzly experiments but she had to have had to some respect allied mm. themselves you know she allied herself with this man who was performing these grizzly experiments they did raid villages, murder your father. Do you see what I'm getting at? Yeah, no, it's very like, true. The, it's a whole situation of do the ends just justify the means? Well, I'm, I'm just not entirely clear on what Edelgard's uh, role in the uh, those who slither in the dark are. And we might not find out until... Uh, but they were alive. True. It's it's very true. Anyway, uh, do we want to go why me or sacred duties? Well, why the me? thing is, we've been wondering all this time why. Is it because of Sothis? Is it because you know what I'm getting at? Yeah. So why me? You must have guessed it by now. The truth of who you are, or perhaps I should say, your lost memories are surely beginning to return. I have acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Only you can lead the people of Fodlan. Rhea, please. You must tell me all that you know. I beg of you. <sighs> that one... 
is the progenitor god. Am I correct? In a sense. Our dear professor is a vessel, one who carries the power of the progenitor god within. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. I see. I trust that you are aware of the questionable nature of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I ask that you help our friend. And in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping for the moment when our creator rules this wayward land once more. I understand. As ever, I will take you at your word. Lady Rhea! Brother! I will do my part as well! Flame! Were you eavesdropping? <sighs> Regardless, I am glad to hear it. You owe your life to the Professor, after all. And in the end, they may prove to be our brethren. You have my gratitude, Sedith. And you as well, Flane. As followers of the Progenitor God, it is up to us to see our mission through. Why the musical note? Is it for the chorus? Maybe. I guess we got two free days and then the final battle. The final battle? Well, not, uh, well. not the final battle, but. Oh. Ariane can go straight to the ship. Sweet. That's a nice that outfit. On. Ah, Fistful of Fishing is after the time skip. Have you granted them the stones that allow them to get to advanced classes? Uh, to some degree. I'm not actually sure what the crest stones do, now that I'm thinking about it. Wait, there are crest stones that you can purchase? Well, we were sending them to the convoy. Chances are we oh. didn't get to keep them. Yeah, it doesn't look like we got to keep them. Mm -mm. That's... I'd say it's a bit of a shame, but it's entirely understandable. You might find more crest weapons later, but... Okay. You can buy crest stones in New Game Plus. Huh. Oh, which acts as, as crest for characters without. Interesting. Okay, well, exploring. Ah, uh, that might have been a spoiler, though. Because you know how I was surmising that in a world where there's a, a class that's separated from the rest because of an ability that they have th by blood, the only equalizer would be creating something that either Hello? negates their abilities or gives anyone, regardless of their bloodline, those abilities. True. I don't know if it's, there's going to be a conclusion where they find a way to give everyone crest stones or they negate the blood so that they don't have to worry about anyone wielding the weapons and thus the power of the, the goddess. Though I, I can't imagine that these weapons are a product of Sothis. They seem like something else. Yeah, they're probably tied more to the ones that slither in the dark, maybe? Maybe not, I don't know. They're just really creepy. I don't really like that for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. But it some seems as though the weapons parts. always look like that. Let's see. Cultivate. Let's see, are we gonna go on through this chapter too? Or explore and then end? I was actually gonna say we should probably just go to bed right now. Because it's almost three o'clock in the morning for us. Oh wow, it is. Yeah. Okay. So it's like I was I am... nodding off during one of the older battles before the final battle, but we should probably also do all these because I should I should have done them ages ago. 
But no, we'll we'll finish this uh we'll finish this next chapter uh up next time for sure. Might be a shorter session tomorrow night, but we got other things to work on as well. And I'm probably also going to do more fi friendship barfing before the end uh <laughs> just to max out as much as I can before we go. Anyway, sleep. <laughs>